Dr. Schmidt was here last winter. He did nothing. She's worse now. I can give her medicine for the pain. I heard you cured tuberculosis. Those are but research subjects, not patients. Annie has cancer. There's no difference. Both incurable. There is nothing that medicine can do for your daughter. We don't have much in this world, me and my Annie. Just God. If my daughter dies, I will know that I did everything in my power to help her live. Feel you know the same. Dr. Max, kiss him. Check the ventilation of each room. Can I help you? You have not applied for a city permit. A permit? I, I knew of no such requirement. You would if you attended city council meetings. I am very busy healing my patients. Patients? How dare you use that term for your experimental subjects? You have no respect for medicine, and now you show no respect for the law. I am healing my patients. Scientifically, my research proves it. You are free to use my protocols. <laughs> and be labeled a quack. Never. You will be at every city council meeting from now on. They will find another way. They want you out of this town. It only drives me to stay and continue my healing research. Healing? Yet you bring a girl dying of cancer here. Giving her mother false hope. I told the mother there was nothing I could do for the girl. Then why is she taking a bed? The mother is persuasive. How could I let her stay in that house and die? She will die here then. <laughs> Always working. So sick. How do I clean the liver? This came for you today. But. Oh. <clears throat> Folk medicine. Even my healed patients think I practice folk medicine.
Charlotte was asking for you. These patients need me. Your young daughters need you. I'm sorry to interrupt your lunch. Uh, I didn't know what else to do. Go. She's burning up. Will she survive? I don't know. I need you to step out of the room. Never. I will stand back. I won't move. Prepare me a cold pack. I need to bring the fever down. Nurse, I need a syringe! What is the meaning of this? This facility is closed. The city permit has been denied. Speak quietly. I have very sick patients resting here. You have no patients, only experiments. Research patients. This quackery is over. Have you no compassion? Compassion? Compassion is letting your patients die. Then medicine offers no cure. Science discovers new cures all the time. Enough. Send the patients home. We are boarding up the doors within the hour. No. No, you cannot do this. I, I, I have very sick patients. They, they are too sick to move. Some of them are from out of town. Where will they go? Are any of them Jewish? I know a place where the Jews can go. I have dire news. Everyone must leave now. What? Why? As the city is closing the facility, our permit was denied. But, but she is too sick to move. We have nowhere to go. You must leave at once. Dr. Schmidt. Do I know you? Yes. You came to my home a year ago. You left my daughter for dead. Oh, yes, I remember. Cancer of the lungs, uh, a pauper, no resources, no husband. Your daughter, she's still alive? Yes. And he fights. She doesn't fight. You keep her barely alive as an experiment. Do your daughter a favor and let her die. Doctor! Get out now, all of you! This charade has come to an end! Schnell! I must get my belongings. They are heartless, horrible men! What's to become of the patients? They all have somewhere to stay. Except Annie and her mother. They will come to our house. I'm not sure she'll make it through the night. Then she will die in our home. In comfort. Gretchen. You are my rock. No. <laughs> I am your fool. We must go. Yeah. Yeah, go. I will get the microscope. Hurry, they've already boarded the back. <laughs>
Chin. Yeah. 